What's going on, everyone? ChristianPickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Pittsburgh Pirates versus Boston Red Sox Major League Baseball matchup going down Friday, April 19th, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. Also, make sure you check out my 2024 Major League Baseball Grand Slam season pass. This is for the betters that are betting $1,000 or more per game on Major League Baseball this season. This is going to get you access to the weighting and rating of my plays. It's also going to get you access to my nerfies and yerfies and my first five bets as well as uh, bets I make throughout the day based on information that comes in you know, throughout the day, you know, line moves, money moves, pitching changes, lineup changes. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, and you're rolling with that prerequisite bankroll of $1,000 or more bet per game on Major League Baseball this season, text 775-636-7674. We'll get you some more information. But let's get to this one between the Boston Red Sox and the Pittsburgh Pirates. The Boston Red Sox sending out Brian Bayo to the mound in this one. The Pittsburgh Pirates, no starter confirmed at the time this video being, uh, excuse me, at the time this video is being recorded. Normally, this would be a spot where we would see Marco Gonzalez. He's followed up Bailey Falter last couple times through the rotation. But um, Marco Gonzalez on the 15-day IL with a forearm strain. So could it be potentially a bullpen game here? I mean, uh, that's where I think we could be headed. Um, you know, Mitch Keller uh, would be on normal rest for this game if he got the start here. It wouldn't surprise me either. So I'm just checking to see uh, just at last glance if Mitch Keller's popping up. He's not. So it could potentially be uh, Mitch Keller here as well. We'll have to see. We'll have to see if we can update that for you on um, on Friday's morning show. But what, well, like I said, we do know here is that Brian Bayo is getting the nod here for the Red Sox and Bayo, you know, he's been kind of a mixed bag through his first couple starts. You know, the, uh, the Red Sox as a team three and one in his four starts, he did you know, take a, take a, a hard luck loss against the, the Baltimore Orioles seven, one, uh, back on April 9th, but it was, you know, just a tough outing for, uh, for Bayo there. And the, the fact of the matter was the Red Sox just had a hard time backing up Bayo in that one as well. They only scored one run for him in that start. But the thing is, is that the Boston Red Sox, you know, they've struggled at home for whatever reason. And I think that, you know, this team is just going to be sort of like what we saw last year. They, they played their better baseball on the road, despite the fact that they had an identical home and road record last season at season's end. Um, and I think Brian Bayo could have another decent campaign here as well. You know, he's already got a, a 3.92 ERA this season. And I think that will eventually sort of go down over time, I mean, last year we saw Bayo get roughed up a little bit early on, um, but you know he he finished the uh, the first half of the season strong before really falling apart and running out of gas. You know, down the stretch he had a, a six point five seven ERA through March and April, but then a two point six seven ERA in May, a two point one four ERA in June. So I think entering the All Star break, Bayo could be a pitcher they have to watch and just try to keep track if he if he's able to keep it up in the second half. But you know, last year. I think Brian Bayo really had his issues on the road. He was able to get more wins on the road, but his ERA was better at home. But I think this could be, you know, another good spot for him to try to improve on those road numbers. Um, you know, the Pittsburgh Pirates are struggling right now. You know, you look at the uh, sort of the back end of that series between these two, um, you know, their, sorry, their most recent series. The Pirates were absolutely demolished by the New York Mets on the road. They lost all three games. They were outscored. 18 to five in that three game sweep. And now they, they head back home where they have played their you know slightly better baseball this season, but that was also a Pirates team that was eight and three on the road entering that road series um, against the Mets. So just struggling right now to go back home and they take on a right-handed pitcher, which hasn't necessarily been all that effective for the Pirates this season. They're five and six against right-handed starters this year. The Boston Red Sox, you know, say what you want about the Red Sox and their issues, but like I said, Brian, excuse me, Brian Bayo is looking like the staff ace, and this team has gotten off to a strong start on the road, 7-3. and three. So we'll try to update the, the pitching matchup for you on Friday's morning show, but I think right now I'm leaning towards the Red Sox here, and that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're at Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business. And tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're at our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here at Pick Dogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.